I'm Leah Birch, and this is The Reaper by Tatum Lear. The Reaper swept through the forest in a matter of seconds, scanning for the chosen victim in the dark night. From a few miles off, he spotted a single house just below the green wooded mountain near a small town. The house was not surrounded by others like it, and a single light was on in the upstairs bedroom. Big deal, I said out loud, trying to convince myself. Maybe I shouldn't have chosen to read this book while my mom was at that costume party. It was already 12.30. I should be going to bed, but I wanted to finish it. After all, my friend April had given it to me before I moved away a few weeks ago. She had said that it was the freakiest book she had ever read and wanted me to have it. That was where she was. He knew that her mother was gone for the night and he knew that the young girl had no unhealthy conditions. It would be the perfect Halloween surprise. This was getting incredibly freaky. My mom was gone, I'm alone, and as for medical conditions, I'm now diagnosed with fear. But this was a book. It was a pure work of fiction, one that is living and breathing and not a dark hooded spirit coming to drag you away from life. But if this was a true book, then why can't I find the author's name anywhere? The Reaper took his time guiding himself through the forest and down the dark mountain. He could sense that the girl was getting tired and would be in bed soon. Only this time, she wouldn't be waking up. Fiction, I told myself, struggling to keep my eyes open. Fiction isn't real. As a Reaper got closer to the girl's house, he saw that she was calmly reading in her bed. I flipped around to the open curtain windows, darkness reading like frightened eyes. Something black caught my eye in the corner of the window. I yanked my curtains shut as fast as I can and hesitantly turned back to my book, getting under my thick covers. Sensing that the girl was about to look for him, the reaper hid himself up against the house, knowing that she saw him. My heart stopped. Could this book be about me? A cold shiver ran up my spine. This can't be happening. The Reaper silently went through the back door and glided inside, peering at his surroundings under his hood. He grips his scythe as he drifts through the kitchen and up the stairs, not making a sound. He knew that the girl was expecting him. I slam the book shut and throw it across the room, wrapping my covers around me and praying this wasn't real. Soft tears roll down my cheeks. A second later, I look up into the cold face of death, the hourglasses sand quickly piling into the bottom bowl. It's time.